Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and uh, this is you joining me on a journey of learning and growing in the world of buying and reselling jewelry. Um, this is from a lot that I got last weekend. I spent about $50 and I have about six of these little cardboard flats of sparklies to go through. And uh, this is the third one that I've done, so welcome to part three. Um, if you're new to the channel, as almost every one of you are, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a video. And let's dig into this box here. First up is this stretch wooden bead bracelet. The beads are in really nice shape, but the stretch is really loosey-goosey on that. But somebody could probably make something cool with those. So they'll be great in the craft lot. And another wooden bracelet, too, actually. One, uh, they're both rounded. But one is flat on the inside and the other is curved all the way through. And they look they look like different kinds of wood, but I guess we have some wooden bracelets going on here, but this is a bit different, though it does seem to have some wood. Um, that's really pretty and ornate looking. Ooh, we've got some vertigre, which from what I understand can be cleaned up and also from what I understand can be contagious to your other jewelry so it's not something I know a lot about but um, we'll have to learn more about so I don't infect my hoard but it's cute I mean I like the look of it I can't figure out how to open it I don't want to play around with it too much but and I do like the look of that bracelet okay Next we have a little baggie with a pair of earrings in it. Let's see. Hooked together and in a baggie. Wow. So, ooh, those are some big sparklies. Look at that. I like how you can see right to the, you see the whole stone in there. Um, obviously these are plastic, I believe, or acrylic or something like that. They don't feel cold. Maybe they're glass. But I don't see any names on them. But are they ever blingy? And next is a brooch. Another sparkly. With the AB coating, giving it the rainbow iridescence. Ooh, that does sparkle nicely with a nice silver tone, a couple of leaves. On the back side, I don't see any marks there, but it's very pretty. Another brooch here. He's got a little bit of a string on him. Let's get that off. Isn't he cute? <laughs> no, he's got little rhinestones on his bow collar. His eyes are painted. I was kind of expecting there to be little gems in there. Hmm. Sorry guys, sippy sippy. Um, yeah, cute. Any names? No, not that I can see. It's pretty heavy. People like dogs, so that's a good one to have. Another brooch here. Hmm, like a drooping lily, would it be? I'm assuming it would go that way instead of this way hmm either way it's pretty it does have a stamp on it there what does that say b327 Ooh, i don't know i'll have to look closer um later but if you know what it is please do leave that information in the comments below Oh, sparkly, sparkly for sure. 
Now, this one I curated from his collection. Let's get this off of there. Because how could I, oops, I'm sorry. How could I resist those sparkles? Oh yeah, that's nice, hey? I mean, where do you wear it to? But I just like the idea of collecting it. And a lot of people out there do. So you'll find everything like this that I find in my in my eBay store, Pixel and Frisket uh, finds. Is it finds? No, just Pixel and Frisket. That's right. Uh, let's see. What does it say here? Hmm. Let's just do a zoom. Austria. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I think it says Austria. So, from what I understand, Austrian crystal is yeah, made in Austria. That's upside down, but um, is glass. That's what I understand. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you know something I don't know, but from that's what I've heard, anyways. It's just glass. It's not anything special. But this is a beautiful piece. It's been made uh, very nicely okay enough with the sparklies there we go another brooch the black tone um, stones simple no mark that I can see mm -hmm. Another brooch, rope bow, and there's a mark there. Hmm. Looks like it says angel, maybe. Hmm, that's what it kind of looks like to me. I don't know though. I don't recognize the brand, so I'll have to dig into the internet to find out more about that. <clears throat> Excuse me, smoky air has got me clear in my throat. Another brooch here, silver tone, sort of with that aged or rubbed look, I guess. Sort of a interesting rose design. It's really minimalistic, I suppose. And it is marked, it says Canada, Sarah Coventry. It's a their cup there in Canada. Nice. Another brooch. Sort of a rope starburst flower with pearl cabochon in the middle. And that's another Sarah Coventry piece. It's pretty big. <laughs> nice. Another brooch. Silver tone, little silver shiny balls all over, and a pearl, and that again says Canada, oh, Sarah Cub, made in Canada. Good job, good job, Sarah. Oh, nice, I've got the earrings, clip-on earrings to go with that first rose brooch, and they're marked as well. Made in Canada and Sarah Cub. There is a seashell scarf clip. Nice. No mark on it or anything. Another brooch. Just a very minimal gold with a swoop, a raised line there, and a little pearl. Kind of reminds me of a, a palette, an art palette. No marks of any kind. Feels really thin. Yeah. Oh no. Just get it out of my house. 
if this thing opens up, it'll never, it'll never be gone. Never. I'm going to hide that somewhere else out of sight. <laughs> and similar story here, but, but different. There's a lot of people. This will go into a craft lot. Um, two sets of beads, all of them, you know, the same. They obviously came from like a necklace that broke, perhaps. Someone took the time to separate the sizes, though. That's interesting. Unless they were purchased this way, of course. There's a pair of earrings. Post earrings. Cloisonne style. or I don't know if there's a way to tell, like, that something is actual cloisonne or, um, or just cloisonne style. Or if there's a way to determine, like, a genuine cloisonne. But either way, even if it's not genuine, it's beautiful. Really nice colors. No marks on the back. Nice and thin and lightweight. There's this little orange mark there. And it doesn't seem, it's not a chip, or is it? Oh, it is a chip. Yes, indeed. I can feel the edge of the enamel. Well, nonetheless, they're pretty cute. Uh, another brooch. Oh, this is different, isn't it? Hmm. Kind of a modernist, minimal leaf. I don't know. Flower. Gold tone, thin feeling. Feels like related to this one in that regard but yeah it's shiny that's for sure and I have another um, scarf clip another seashell scarf clip they're definitely related as well mm hmm they have the same like kind of ornateness on the back oh I know what this is Awesome. I have a brooch made by these guys as well, and this appears to be a small pendant. This is from Rices of Singapore, and I'm questioning whether that's genuine or not, because I don't see any mark, and I truly expected that I would. Um, but no, I, I think I'm correct. So they copper plate and then gold plate real live orchid flowers and this is what this is and you can tell that I am correct <laughs> because in the back you can see where the gold plating has been coming off revealing the copper plating underneath and it's got a little pendant spot and that's on the back so I mean for me I'm cool with wearing that still because I it's so ugly it's cool I think <laughs> I mean, it's a real flower in there, a real orchid flower that's been preserved forever in copper and gold. I just think that's pretty nifty. Mhm. Mm so that's cool. I have I have a brooch that's much bigger than that um, listed in my eBay store right now. If you'd like to see more photos of something like that. <laughs> uh, okay, a pair of clip-ons here. Sort of a organic shape with some rhinestones in the top and the bottom and uh, faux pearls in the middle. And let's see here. No mark. Not there and always got to check the other one. Nope. But they're in great condition and they're an interesting uh, design. Now this is sparkly and pretty teardrop shape surrounded uh, pearl surrounded or faux pearl surrounded in rhinestones and the clip on the back is like this it pops open and what it is is a pearl fascinator or do they call it a fascinator pearl enhancer sorry not fascinator and so you could uh, wear a, a string of pearls and then have it gather together and clip this here with the string of the pearl, you know, being captured in those two spots. And it would gather up the necklace and then hang straight down from it. So yeah, 
that's what that is and it's in great shape it's very pretty I have so many pearls I should try and sell them together <laughs> and another pair of sparklies this is another one that I curated out of his um, individually priced items because I can't handle it <laughs> aren't they beautiful oh that's a marquee cut uh, stone they are glass or I don't know if you would say crystal or whatever but um, yeah they're glass with AB coating and they're beautiful and they look in great shape and it's a really fun uh, finish it kind of has an art deco feel to me and no marks on that one and no marks on that one why don't people want to claim claim their name to these here we have another bracelet, hematite, marcasite, hemat hematite. It's kind of loosey goosey too, but those are heavy beads. Um, but it's more than big enough for me, and you can see it looks like it's stretching, but it's really just pulling under its own weight. But again, those beads could certainly be repurposed by somebody who is so inclined. Oh. I think I found this match in my first video. I believe so. I'll have to review the footage. Um, here's a baggie. And in here we've got a bracelet with a toggle clasp. And it appears to be Roman um, sort of themed with these pearls. It's a really sort of dulled um, gold, you know, uh, compared to the shiny, shiny. Um, let's see if there's any kind of indicator of a maker. Not that I can see. Mm hmm. Okay. And here's a bag of some loose beads as well. I think that's pretty standard at this point. And then I have a <laughs> jewelry box section here, guys. Look, a box within a box. Let's see what's in here. Well, there's another brooch. So that's pretty, it's like, I don't know how that would be done. It's gold tone and it's shiny and exposed on the edges of the petals and everything but it's got kind of a white pearly finish on the rest of the petals turn it over it's really heavy on the the flower end of this and there is a name here Coro nice it looks like it's in really nice condition I see this one little spot here. I don't know if that's something that will just that'll clean up or it looks like it's like really on there. Like it's part of, it happened at manufacturing. I think there's a few little spots like that, but it's a pretty big size too. It's pretty. That'll be a nice one to look up and see what could happen potentially. This is a piece of stone. Uh, pendant. I don't know what sort. I'm learning so much about stones right now, um, but I'm not privy to uh, determine what that is right now. I don't know. Um, the obligatory jasper something or agate. <laughs> There's this little three ring mixed <clears throat> mixed metal. It looks like sort of a rose gold, gold and silver tone but they're all connected together kind of like that oh yeah I guess I haven't even talked about him yet have I so I got him in a box and <laughs> I, I'm guessing he's supposed to be worn facing the other way but I like having him this way so that every now and then I just catch him looking at me he's got little red gems in his eyes <laughs> isn't he fun uh, I thought it would be funny to have him in the video because he's gonna be spying on you the whole time <laughs> anyway we're almost done here I have a pendant um, cross it's 
It's got a little bead. I wonder if it was part of a rosary at some point, maybe. Hey? Perhaps that bead is fairly telling of that, as from what I know. And this is... I don't know. It's got just like a proper snap. It's like something old with a new snap from Fabricland or something on it. And I'm just guessing maybe it's a scarf clip as well. The shape is sort of telling me that, I guess. Same with this. I think that's also a scarf clip. Correct me if I'm wrong. And again, here's another one with a little swinging clasp there. Scarf clips galore. Oh, guess what, guys? It's a scarf clip. <laughs> no. A little glass pendant. What's the word for that? Millifory? Millifory? It's small and pretty. You know, I think they would look really pretty on like a nice sparkly um, silver tone or I mean sterling silver chain. Um, the little one that I opened in my last video that I said I was going to take to work, I did do, and yes, it is sterling silver. I put it in the cleaner and it looks good as new. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, so that's fun. There's uh, another scarf club. <laughs> Blow my mind. Okay, here's another pendant. It's this sort of cut up. I don't know what do you call it? Cut grooves into it. And it's got a little dangler in the middle there. And there is no marks on it. No, no. This tiny little, ooh, I can't even see it. Tiny little skinny brooch. <laughs> How can you tell I just painted my nails before? Oh. Uh, um, no marks. It is so small though, so skinny winny. Hmm. Here is a cross pendant. It looks sort of rubbed off like a gold revealing a steel maybe. It looks like it might be steel. Oh, I, yeah, I should have a magnet with me, hey? Do I have one? <laughs> I do. <laughs> this is stuck to the dryer behind me and it says I love you and it's got a picture of a kitty um, and that's something my daughter made and then stuck to the, the dryer. <laughs> it's been hanging there so let's use it to test. It felt like a strong magnet on the dryer. Hmm. This is not sticking to it at all though. So let's find something that should. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think this magnet is just not uh, up to par. Oh, I can feel that pulling a little. <laughs> okay. Love the magnet. It's not going anywhere, but not going to help us in this situation. So next video I'll just try to remember to bring a magnet. Um, so, and we have a stick pin here with a little crown upon it. And I don't see anything marked there. Another stick pin. Uh, and that's got the Swarovski swan in it, so I'm sp I suppose that's a Swarovski crystal. It looks, the swan looks off center to me though, which makes me question its authenticity. Hmm. Okay, next is, oh, a little piece of amylite. Nice. This is one I was just working with today at work, uh, cleaning our amylite display and learning all about amylite. Uh, in my books, I've got three gem books that sit beside me, and as I clean the jewelry, I learn about the stones in them. And this is only found in southern Alberta, amylite. Yeah. Pretty. I think I'll put that on my silver chain. And this is like a, from a watch. A watch buckle. Here's a little gold heart with a little faux pearl pendant. No marks. 
Here is another cross crucifix, probably from a, um, it says Italy on it. Oh, sorry. Pay attention to what I'm showing you. And here's another one. That one looks most interesting as far as design goes, and it's really quite pretty. And a tie clip. This has a, like a, hmm, what do they call that? Not moonstone, but um, anyway, you know what I mean, right? See? I can't think of the word. Anyway, I don't see any marks on that guy either, but that's a tie clip. And, oh, there are two items left in here. One is a dirty little green stud. It's super gross and dirty looking. I think it's got that vertigray as well, so that's going to go aside with this one too. And the last thing is this tiny little pendant. I don't know, a little silver tone squiggle. Um, chili pepper? I don't know. I don't know. There might be children watching. Let's just say it's a jalapeno. Cute. Okay. Well, that is the haul for today. We got a few nice sparklies. It's like we went really organic and really not organic, <laughs> but a lot of, a lot of nice things covered here. So thanks again for joining me. Um, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you tomorrow on the next one.